Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this truss using method of sections. I have already analyzed this truss using method of joints. You can click the link in the description and see the video. For better understanding, first we have to see that video, then see this video. Before analyzing, let us see the rules. The section should not cut through more than three members. This rule is according to the unknown member forces. In some cases, we might have already found one or two member forces. In those special cases, the section can cut through four members. After making the section, we have to separate the truss by two parts and take only one portion as per the convenience. While doing the analysis, we will know about this rule more. Initially, all the members are assumed to be tensile. Suppose if we get a positive value, that means our assumption is correct. The member force is a tensile. If we get negative value, that means our assumption is incorrect. The member force is compressive. To find the member forces, we have to apply the equilibrium conditions. The summation of moments is zero, the summation of the vertical forces is zero, and the summation of horizontal forces is zero. We have to find the horizontal reaction HA and the vertical reactions VA and VD. In the method of joints, I have already explained how to find them. You can click the link in the description and watch the video. Now I am going to make the first section. I can make the section anywhere in the truss. For my convenience, I am going to make the section here. We know that the section should not cut more than three members. Right now, it is cutting only two members, DE and DC. We can take either left side or the right side and do the analysis. I have taken the right side because it is easier. Wherever the members are cut, we have to give arrows like this. Initially, we have to assume them to be tensile. Then we can extend the members up to the ends by dotted lines. We need to find this angle. We know that tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So tan theta is 4 upon 5. In this way, for theta, we will get 38.66. Now, let us see how to find the member forces by taking movements. Suppose if we take a movement about E, we should not consider FTE because it is acting in the point E. In this case, there will be only one unknown, that is FCD. If we take a movement about C, we should not consider FCD because it is acting in the point C. In this way, there will be only one unknown, that is FTE. Suppose if we take a movement about D, both of the forces are acting in the point D, so we should not consider both of them. In this case, we can't find any member forces. In this way, we have to first see how to take the movement and find the member forces. First, I am going to take a movement about E. And I am going to find FCD. In the truss, there is no movement. So, we can always keep clockwise as positive and the anticlockwise as negative. When we take movement about E, we should not consider this. We have only FCD and 16. About the point E, the reaction 16 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the perpendicular distance is 5. FCD is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the perpendicular distance about the point E is 4. In this way for FCD we will get 20. We have got a positive value that means our assumption is correct. FCD is a tensile. Now let us take a moment about C and find FTE. We know that when we take a moment about C we should not consider FCD. So the remaining forces are FDE and 16. 
16 is acting in the anticlockwise uh, direction so that it will be negative and the distance is uh, 5. We know that the moment can be taken only in the perpendicular distance that is in 90 degree. You can see that to the point C, FTE is not perpendicular, it is inclined. We can resolve FDE along CE or along DC. First, let us see how to resolve FDE along DC. We have to make FDE vertical. To make FDE vertical, we need this angle. This angle is 90 minus 38.66. It will be 51.34. About the point C, FDE is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 5. Since we have resolved it in the vertical direction, we have to multiply with the cos 51.34. For FTE, we will get a negative value. That means our assumption is incorrect. FTE is compressive. Now let us see how to resolve FTE along EC. 90 minus this angle 38.66 we will get 51.34 to make FDE perpendicular to EC we have to keep it horizontal to keep it horizontal we need this angle which is 90 minus 51.34 that is 38.66 now about the point C FDE is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 and we have to multiply with the cos 38.66 in this way also we can find FTE you can follow whichever is easier alternatively we can use sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma h is equal to 0 and to find the member forces FDE and FCD this is same as the method of joints I have analyzed in the same way. You can click the link and see the video for the explanation. Now I am going to make the second section like this. When I make this section, only three members are cut. So we are safe. I am going to take the right portion and analyze. As in the previous step, we have to give arrows wherever the members are cut. Also, we can join the members up to the ends. You can see that here there is no inclined force. All of the forces are either horizontal or vertical. In this case, we can use these two rules and find the member forces very easily. Let us apply sigma v is equal to 0. Here we have the vertical forces 12, Fce and 16. 12 and Fce are acting downwards. So both of them are negative. 16 is acting upwards, so it will be positive. In this way, for FCE, we will get 4 and it is tensile. Now, let us use sigma h is equal to 0. Here, there are only two horizontal forces, FEF and FCD. Both of them are acting towards the left side, so both of them are negative. We can take FEF on the other side, so it will come as positive. We know the value of FCD 20 which is tensile. Let us apply that. For FEF we have got a negative value that means it is compressive. Now I am going to make the third section and take the right side and do the analysis. Using tan theta formula we can find this angle which is 38.66 to find FBC. We can take a moment about F. When we take a moment about F, we should not consider FEF and FCF because they are acting in the point F. The remaining forces are 16, 12 and FBC. The reaction 16 is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative and the distance is 10. The load 12 kN is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 5. 
FBC is also acting in the clockwise direction so it is also positive for FBC this is the perpendicular distance which is 4 for FBC we will get a positive value that means it is a tensile to find FCF we can take a moment about to B when we take a moment about to B we should not consider FBC because it is acting in the point B the remaining forces are FEF, FCF 12 and 16 16 is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 10 12 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5 FEF is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative for FEF the perpendicular distance is 4 about the point B FCF is not perpendicular it is inclined we can resolve FCF with respect to FB or with respect to CB I am going to resolve FCF with respect to CB to make FCF perpendicular with respect to BC I have to keep FCF vertical to keep it vertical we need this angle this angle will be 90 minus 38.66 so it will be 51.34 now about the point B FCF is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 5 since we have resolved it we have to multiply with the cos 51.34 we have already found FEF 20 since it is compressive we have to apply that as negative for FCF we will get a negative value that means it is compressive if you feel that this step is very lengthy alternatively using this rule we can find FCF this load is acting downwards so it will be negative the reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive FCF is inclined we have to make it vertical when we make it vertical it will be acting upwards so that it will be positive to make it vertical we need 51.34 degree so we have to multiply with the cos 51.34 in this way for FCF we will get 6.4 kN which is compressive now I am going to make the fourth section like this and I am going to take only this part and do the analysis we can apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find FBF. Vertically, there is only one force that is FBF. So, FBF will be equal to 0. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. FAB is acting towards the left side. So, it will be negative and FBC is acting towards the right side. So, that it will be positive. We have already found FBC which is 25 and tensile let us apply that in this way for FAB we will get 25 kN which is tensile now I am going to make the fifth section that is the last section and I am going to take the left part and do the analysis using tan theta formula we can find this angle which is 38.66 now we can take a moment about to B and find FAF when we take moment about to B we should not consider FAB and 10 the remaining forces are 12 and FAF the reaction 12 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5 so 12 into 5 for the point B FAF is not perpendicular it is inclined we can resolve FAF with respect to FB or with respect to AB. I am going to resolve it with respect to AB. To make FAF perpendicular to AB, we have to keep it vertical. To keep it vertical, we need this angle which is 90 minus 38.66. We will get 51.34. Now about the point B. 
FIF is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. Since we have resolved it in the vertical direction, we have to multiply with cos 51.34. For FIF, we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. We have already calculated FAB but still I wanted to calculate. To find FAB, we can take moment about F. When we take moment about F, we should not consider FAF. The remaining forces are 10, 12 and FAB. The vertical reaction 12 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. The horizontal reaction 10 also is acting in the clockwise direction so that it is also positive and the distance is 4. FAB is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. In this way for FAB we will get 25 kN which is tensile. Alternatively using this rule we can find FIF and using this rule we can find FAP. These steps I have already explained very clearly in the method of joins. You can click the link in the description and watch the video. So first we have to study the method of joins. Then we have to study method of sections. So it will be very easy. Here I have tabulated all of the answers. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.